Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I actually got a request under my last video about 15 practical tips before you go to China in 2023. I saw a comment where you guys requested for me to make a video about how to apply for a visa for China. I wanted to make this video as quick as possible because I saw in the comments that many of you are going to China soon. So if you're going to China soon, I wish you a very safe trip and have fun there. But before before you can go to China, there is definitely a lot that you need to do, like I said in my previous video. I can definitely understand that it's hard to understand how to successfully apply for a visa. So that's why I want to make this video in very simple steps so you understand exactly how you need to do it. But before we get started, I want to thank you guys again for all subscribing to my channel. It's growing so fast lately and it makes me so so happy. I really appreciate everything every single one of you i always imagine 185 people standing in one room and how many of you guys are actually subscribing and watching my videos so for me it's so crazy because i had like 30 to 40 subscribers for months upon months really thank you so much for subscribing i can't describe how thankful i am my next goal is actually to get to the 200 subscribers i never thought that i would already say this so quickly but because it's happening so fast don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a like after you subscribe also put the notifications on so you know exactly when i'm posting a new video as you maybe already could see i'm trying to post more frequently so now i'm striving to post twice a week instead of once a week so you guys have more content and of course like i always say if you have any requests please feel free to let me know and i will make a video and the last thing before i start with this video if i talk a bit weird or different than before it's because i have my aligners in so if you didn't see that video yet check it out with this link here or here there i explain everything about my aligners today is officially the first whole day that i'm wearing them and i still need to get used to them but i will just try to talk as clear as possible and as normal as possible but if you feel like i sound a bit different or weird it's because i have these aligners in my mouth so hopefully it won't bother you too much and if you didn't notice that's great so yeah let's get started with this video so what i'm going to do is i have my laptop here and i'm going to show you guys how to apply for a visa with a screen recording okay so let's set this up first so now you can see my screen guys so how do you apply for a visa for china so basically what you first need to do is just type in google visa application center china and as you can see you have the first result in google and this is visaforchina.cn and this is really the official Chinese website to apply for a Chinese visa. So what you only need to do is click on this link. Just click OK here. Then you have this Chinese website. Here I have uh, The Hague because I'm in the Netherlands, but probably it will just update automatically also for your country to where that Chinese visa application center is in your country. But for now, yes, I have The Hague and it's in English. So you have this website and what you see here is how to get a visa. Under this title, you have like two things. So the first one is step-by-step -step guidance, uh, strongly recommended for all applicants. So first of all, this is definitely really important for you, especially if you don't know how to apply for a visa yet. So what you can do is just click on this visa and it will guide you to this. So it's a step-by-step -step guide. Here you have some questions first. So how are you going to submit your visa application? Well, you can't do this by post, so you really actually need to physically go to the visa application center for this step you really need to look up for yourself in which city it is in your country and which one is the closest near your home so you definitely need to go there at least once to apply for one so this one you can't change and the second one is how are you going to collect your passport and you have two options it's by visiting the visa center so you will need to go back for the second time to collect your passport with a visa in it or you can choose if you 
you don't want to go back anymore to send it by post what i recommend especially because it's your passport and a visa i really don't trust receiving it by post so if it's doable for you i would highly recommend you just to go to the visa center a second time to pick up your passport yourself so you know for sure that you got your passport and it's not going to get lost so moving on to the second part of this guide it's choose what kind of visa you want to apply for so you have actually many many kinds of visas so there's not just one chinese visa you need to give up a reason or a purpose why you want to go to china this is actually personal because you have your own reason why you want to go to china so maybe it's a business trip maybe you just want to go there for vacation like tourism or you want to like me visit your family there are many many more options like work study so many other options what i always apply for is q2 so here you have family member or relative of chinese citizens or foreigners with permanent resident status in china my father and all my family is chinese so i can choose this q2 um, instead of tourism or something else if you're not going to china to visit your family you probably need to choose any other of this one uh, whatever is applicable for you but for now let's just do q2 because that's what i always do and then you go to the next step so here you have terms and conditions to be honest i never really read this i just click i have read it and go to the next step so where we are now is very important here you have a exact list of what you need to collect it exactly says what you uh, need to apply for a visa it's all on this website so as you can see here the first one is of course your passport uh, the second one is a visa application form. I will discuss this later. Then you need a passport photo. One recently taken color passport photo. So you basically need a passport photo separately from your passport. If you already have one and you look exactly like how you look like right now in real life it's really okay just to use a older one if you click on the photo requirements you will see here exactly uh, what is allowed and what is not allowed but many things are pretty obvious i think but it's always good just to read this one more time here they say the photo should be recent taken within six months so from my own experience this is not very strict if i use an older picture from two three years ago where i look almost exactly like how i look like right now they're not making a big deal out of it if you don't have a recent photo and you look completely different on the passport photo then i would definitely recommend you to make a new picture but if you're an adult and your look didn't change that fast and you already have a passport photo i would use that one it's completely okay so that's about the passport photo so you need a separate passport photo but i would just take a few more instead of one just to be sure and then the fourth one copy of inviter chinese id yeah so let me quickly check with tourism first okay so i did the whole thing again but then i clicked on tourism just to check if these are the same steps but with tourism it also says copy of inviter's chinese id in support of a personal invitation letter yeah i think you definitely need somebody who is already in china with a chinese id or passport to write you an invitation letter what i always did before all these years is that my father wrote me a invitation letter but it of course depends on your situation of course so yeah you need somebody who can write you a personal invitation letter whether it's a manager for your work or friends but now i'm actually thinking um what if you don't know anybody in china but you just want to go there on vacation then i'm not really sure how you can get a personal invitation letter from anyone so this is definitely a question for me so if anybody knows more about this please let me know in the comments down below because i'm not very sure about this anymore because i clicked on this tourism and you still need a personal invitation letter so i don't really understand that like if you don't know anyone how can you get the letter if anyone knows this let us know in the comments down below but for now let's skip this step the fifth one is employer statement that contains information about position years of employment and salary let's see if that q2 one has the same 
yeah so that's the same i remember that i printed out my college degree for this step but when i went to the visa application center they didn't even need it so yeah if you have some college degrees or like work permits or whatever just use it for this step and then sixth one is photocopy of previous chinese passport or previous Chinese visas so this is only for people who were Chinese citizens before like me because I changed my Chinese password uh, into a Dutch password so in this case I need to show my old Chinese passport or what I can do is show my previous Chinese visas so what you basically do is if you have a previous Chinese visa because you already applied for one before you just need to make a copy of that scan it into your computer and print it out so that's very easy and then if you're under 18 you need to have birth certificate applicant letter of the applicant's parents and stuff but I assume that you're above 18 and if you're not then please ask your parents to do this with you because this is quite hard then what we have here Okay, so this is all about work. You will see that later. So here they actually explain more about the invitation letter for tourists issued by a relevant unit or individual in China. The invitation letter should contain information of the applicant, full name, gender, birth of date, etc. Uh, details of the planned visit, um, arrival, departure dates, places to be visited, accommodation arrangements, and then information of the inviting party okay they explain it in a very difficult way but what you basically need to do is get somebody who is a chinese citizen to write you a invitation letter so it's a pretty simple letter you just need to put all your information like full name gender blah 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 and then put in a few sentences that this person is officially inviting you to visit them in china for i don't know like family reunion friends reunion anything but just give them a clear explanation that you are invited by a Chinese citizen. Uh, they also need to sign it and then send it back to you so you have their signature on the letter. Besides that, they also need to send you a scan of their Chinese ID or passport. Okay, so this is all extra information. You can read it when you are on this website yourself. But for now, I don't think it's necessary to go too deep into this. Wrapping up, what you need to have? Your passport, a visa application Form. I'm going to that right now. A passport photo, a photo where you look like yourself. It's not necessary to make it within six months if you already have a good photo. Copy of inviter Chinese ID plus the invitation letter, of course. Then the employer statement, so or your college degree or something that shows that you work at some company. And then if you have it, a, a copy of your previous Chinese passport or previous Chinese visas. So yeah, that's basically it. Let's go to the next step. Who can apply the visa center? Uh, you can submit the application yourself or authorize a third party to do so so like i said if you don't have time or you're under 18 you can give the authorization to somebody else for you to go to that application center and apply it for you but then you need to also put it in your application form that you give consent to that person but i would just recommend you if you're of course able to just to do it yourself it will just save more problems and drama that can occur let's see how far in advance should i submit my application okay so this is a very important one here it says you are advised to apply one month in advance but no earlier than three months okay so between three months and one month before you're planning to go to china China, you need to start applying for this visa um, especially in the hot seasons like summer vacation and stuff where a lot of people want to apply for this visa you definitely need to take maybe at least two months in advance to start applying for this because you never know how long you need to wait before they're done making a visa for you and then let's see yeah click here for the location of the visa center and office working hours yeah this is also really important but you need to check for yourself yeah like i said where is your nearest visa center location but i will show you guys mine if it will work so if you click on this and again mine is in the hague in the netherlands so you will get a location from google so here you have the address um some information about parking and then the 
business hours so this is really important because they're not always open they're only open from 9 to 3 and 9 to 4 so you need to make some time to plan this in let's see what should I do after arriving at the visa center upon arrival you will obtain a queue number for submitting your application please wait for your number to be called so yeah what I'm reading here this is very true so from my experience they don't really care at what time you made your appointment of course you need to be on time for your appointment but it doesn't mean that it will be your turn at that specific time like it says here you will get a queue number and if your queue number is called then it's your turn so when i had many times is that i had a appointment for example at 11 a.m and i arrived at 10 45 when i arrived there at 10 45 it's completely crowded at the visa center because there are so many people wanting to apply for a visa and then you will just get a queue number and you'll just need to wait for your turn so most of the time when i have an appointment at 11 a.m for example they don't care about that you will just get your turn when your number is called it can be 12 30 p.m they don't care you just need to wait until it's your turn my tip to you from my own experience is or you need to free up your schedule if you really have something after this uh, appointment you need to go there at least one hour before your appointment to be done on time during waiting for my passport i never had any confirmation through mail or that i could track how far they were i just heard from them when i was sitting there okay it's all fine come back next week tuesday between 9 and 12 and i remember that after i picked up my passport you need to go to a second queue and that queue is for payment Ooh, I don't know the prices anymore. I think it was 126 euros, but it also depends on probably the country that you're in and the kind of visa that you're applying for. If you have any other extra questions, just leave it in the comments below and I will personally look it up for you. But I don't think it's necessary to go through every single thing for everybody in this video. I went through the most important things so you know what to do. And now let's go to the application form and you can find this here at the quick access so if you click on visa then you land it on this page these two are the most important first thing what you need to do is make a application form you just click here by new application form and this form can really take you hours or days when i did it for the first few times i didn't understand everything so it took me a long time to understand um, these are all the terms and conditions just agree with it and here you are in the application form here you see there are 10 sections you need to complete them all and then you will have your application form and then here you just need to select start a new application form puzzle they always have these puzzles on this website now we arrive at the first section i see that i can't go through the next section if i didn't fill in all my information so i can't go through all of this with you guys but after you fill in this form you just proceed to the next section so after you're done with it you will go to this print completed application form and then i highly recommend you to save this application form in pdf also uh, print it out physically to take it with you to your first appointment and you will also get your personal application number here after you did that you will have your application form from this side and then you need to of course make appointment so you can just click on appointments okay so i see again that i can't go here because you need your application number but just fill in here all your information do this little puzzle and then you will see the date of when they are available and that's basically all you need to do to apply for a chinese visa pretty simple right i think if we go through this together and you see me doing it it looks way less scary than doing it all by yourself and looking it all up all you need to have is just this website this visa for china.cn do everything on this website exactly like how they say you need to do it and when the appointment arrives like i said arrive one hour before so you know for sure that you'll be done on time take all your documents print it out with you just in case on that appointment they will just check it again maybe ask you some questions 
also maybe do a fingerprint scan if you haven't done it yet and from there on they will take your passport it will take depends on when you apply for it a few days to a few weeks what i would recommend you to do is make a separate folder on your laptop and put all the relevant information in one folder when you're filling in that application form you can also choose for how long you want to stay in china so what you can do is just apply for 90 days but you can also choose for if you want a single entry or a double entry it basically means how many times you can enter and exit china it of course depends on your situation in my situation it's very handy for me to have multiple entries if you just go to china for one vacation you don't need double entry except if you plan to go outside of china for example to japan or korea or to any other country and then planning to go back to china to fly back home from china then definitely do a double entry because once you exit china and you still plan to go back with a single entry visa that's not gonna happen anymore really plan out for yourself do you want to stay in china or do you want to exit china and go back again and put all those information exactly in your application form so they can give you a proper visa for now i think that's it i would recommend you to book the flight already in advance before you have a visa this may sound risky but just pay a bit extra for a cancellation fee or something but in that way they can see that you have bought a round trip so you you actually are planning to come back and not to stay in china forever and also book all the hotels that you want to stay in so they can also see exactly where you are planning to stay because that's very important for them as well plan everything already like you're actually going to china before you're applying for this visa so you can also share all that information with the people from the application center but yeah that's the video guys hopefully you don't have a headache yet and i wish you all the best with applying for a visa hopefully this video was still on time for you guys if it was helpful for you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel my next goal is to have 200 subscribers so subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos yeah that's it i will see you in the next video bye don't you be afraid